right so we've made these little cards but uh, we need envelopes because these are four by four cards I've um, cut them out of an A4 sheet of paper so it's eight by four scored at four and you are left with quite a chunk of, pa of your paper and for an envelope for a four by four card you need a piece of paper that is six and seven eighths by six and seven eighths and actually you have got that left in your a4 size piece of card oh my word the words are coming out so well tonight this evening <laughs> so you can actually make a card a four by four card and the envelope from one sheet of a4 cardstock and i think that's brilliant to do you also have a tiny bit left so this is the amount you have left and i'm sure you can think of something to do you see you could have i could have done that uh, you know decorated it like that did the thank you on top of there other things are possible i will uh I will investigate more into this because I am liking this, um, the fact that I can do this. So, this is the decorated envelope I made for that pink one. And that's Blushing Bride, this is Rose Red and this is Perfect Plum. So let's make the Perfect Plum envelope. So you've got your uh, envelope punch board. And like I said, for a 4x4 four four card, you need 6x7 eighths by 6 and 7 eighths, yeah. And you start at three and a half. So it says score line at three and a half. So you put it in three and a half and you punch. So three and a half there, you put the edge there. Then you take the scoring blade, which is comes with it, which I always put in my pot, I don't know why. And you do your scoring on this side. Okay. Then you turn and this little pointy here, the score guide, needs to meet up with your score line. Don't worry about this now. The only time you have to worry about this is when you start, okay? From then on, you just line up your score guide with your score that you've made. And then again, it goes into the score line. Sometimes it might meet up again at the three and a half, but it doesn't always. So don't worry about that. Like I said, just score guide. And you do that four times. And that will give us a little envelope so your final result will look like this and it does indeed look like that and then we are going to fold towards the mountain and it does help when you're making a car an envelope to actually score your lines because it will make it a lot flatter and I am looking around quite frantically because I have mislaid my... Ah, there it is. Okay. So Stamping Up Now has this terrible double-sided tape. And so we are going to do that. So put your envelope like this. This is so easy because... Look, you tear it. Unbelievably easy. I put it on there, on the side there. I already take it off and I put this one on. So that is stuck down to that. Oh, look at my fingers. I've been using Cajun Craze. It's crazy. <laughs> right, and then this one goes down and it's done. You've got your envelope and let's put our card in. That would be typical for it not to fit. <laughs> and you can then, but what you need to do, of course, is you put some tape on here but do not take the backing off because obviously otherwise you're going to close up your card and well I haven't written mine yet so <laughs> that would be a shame wouldn't it <laughs> right so there we go and I am just quickly this is now the elegant eggplant that I need to use so quickly I'm going to decorate my envelope just making sure my stamp was clean I couldn't remember that I did clean it and I just put it right there and then I put one on the corner there there we go so then I've got that envelope done so now I'm just going to continue doing a bit oh doing a bit more crafting did you see that it landed in my blushing bride ink pad luckily blushing bride is quite pale 
<laughs> so I've got a rose red envelope to make so I'm going to do that now so I hope you enjoy uh, crafting and uh, choose happiness see you next time bye